Now I got the caliper back on. I got the rotor on. I got the caliper back on. On the back side of the caliper, let me actually close this here. You got two bolts. Okay, one on the top, and I got the one on the bottom pulled out. Okay. So what you do is you pop the bottom bolt out. All right. That is a 9/16 socket. Get that out. And then when you take that out, it'll allow this to just swing straight up. Okay. And then once you swing it up, okay, you can get to both the front and the back pads, which just slide right out. Okay. And as you can see, for whatever reason, these pads were not. Well, that one is pretty well worn down. This one still had a little bit of meat left on it, but whatever was going on, it was enough to grind up and uh, groove the rotor. Okay. So now the other thing to note is on the bottom and on the top, okay, you have these clips. Now these clips come with a spring loader, okay, and the trick to it is, is you have to so you can see those little the little up bends in the spring on both sides okay that sits in the brake pads okay, there we go you can see both the indent or the grooves right there on both sides so essentially what that allows that to do is when the brake pad is in is sitting in you can see on the bottom there it's got a little bit of spring so you know kind of basically when you when you compress the brake pads you get a little bit of a spring that kind of pops it back out a little bit so engineering marvel for Nissan apparently but uh, the trick is you have to study this okay make sure you know exactly what you're looking at. All right, now let's go over to the new brake pad set. Okay. And then the new brake pads, you've got squeak plates, okay, your low indicators, your clips with the spring harnesses and the spring hardware. And another set of squeak plates. And then obviously your brand new brake pads for both sides. So the trick is, when you're putting this together, okay, it's not rocket science per se, but you just have to pay attention. It's the easiest way. As to how that comes apart. Now, Duralast, I haven't opened this yet, but Duralast sends an instruction manual, I guess you could call it that, that comes along with it. So, read the instructions, study what you took off, study to make sure that you're not missing anything, okay, and before you put your new pads in, Get the new clips, spring assemblies in, and get the new squeak plates on. Okay. Once I get that all completed, I'll get back with you.